Hi, Mr. Richards here. Today's lesson is in Chapter 2, Lesson 5, and it is on percent of change. Now, to find percent of change, what we're going to do is to say percent of change is going to equal our amount of change. over our original amount. Now we'll have percent increases and percent decreases where this amount of change will either be an increase or a decrease. So a percent of increase is going to equal our amount of increase divided by our original amount. So if we're looking at a question that says find the percent of change from 10 yards to 13 yards, we can look and say, all right, I'm going from 10 yards to 13 yards, which makes that a increase. So I'm looking for a percent of increase. So the first step is going to be to find how much it increased. So step one. Find increase. Well, that increase was from 10 to 13. So 10, or excuse me, 13 minus 10 is going to get us 3. Then step 2. We're going to find percent of increase. And we're going to be doing that by taking our amount of increase and dividing it by the original amount. So our amount of increase was 3. Now our original amount was the 10 yards. And so we're going to put 3 over 10. We'll divide and we'll get 0 0.30 0 which represents a 30% increase. So to find the percent of increase, first, find how much you increased, so your amount of increase, and then divide it by the original, which fits right in with percent of change, which is our amount of change divided by our original amount. Now what about percent decrease? Our percent of decrease similar to percent of increase, but percent of decrease is going to be our amount of decrease divided by our original amount. So if we are going to be given an example that says the price of a radio was $20. It is on sale for $15. What is the percent of change? Well, step one is going to be to find the amount of decrease. Well, to find the amount of decrease, we had 
it originally at 20. It's on sale for 15. And so if we go, okay, 20 minus 15 is going to be $5. It decreased $5. And then step two is to find the percent of decrease. We can take our amount of decrease, which is 5, and divide it by our original amount. Now make sure you pick the right number. It was originally $20. And now 5 divided by 20 gets us a decimal 0 0.25, which is 25% decrease. So in summary, to find our percent of change, we're looking for our amount of change, whether it's an increase or decrease, and dividing it by the original amount. Now the other part of this lesson on percent of change involves percent error. Now for percent error, we can find this by taking our amount of error and dividing it by our actual amount. Percent errors can come in handy when looking at estimates. Say you estimate that you're going to take 15 goal kicks and you'll make 13 of them. Well, if you make 14 instead of 13, you can calculate the percent error you had in your estimate. So if we look at an example of this, find the percent error if the estimate is $230 and the actual amount is $245. Now for this question, we can round to the nearest whole percent. Well, very similar to our percent of changes, when you're looking for percent increase, percent decrease, our first step is going to be to find the amount of error. Well, to find the amount of error here, we'll take our $245 from our actual amount and subtract our estimate to get $15. All right, next. Step two, find percent error. Well, we'll use this formula up here, amount of error divided by the actual. And so our amount of error, 15 over our actual amount, and it says it in the question, $245. And when we divide 15 divided by 200, 145, we get the decimal 0 0.061. Well, getting this into a percent, it's 6.1 percent, but we're looking for just a whole percentage, so we'll say the error is 6 percent. And that is it for this lesson on percent of change with percent error thrown in as well. Good luck.